Good evening, guys. I wasn't anticipating quite how dark it was going to be at 5.30. It's literally pitch black. And I've got my tiny light on in my car, um, trying to actually film myself. But welcome back to the channel. Um, I've got some really Christmassy days coming up and I thought that I'd pick up the camera because I'm about to go to the range and probably a little zip in B&M to get the rest of our Christmas decorations. So our tree has arrived, I've been collecting a few bits and bobs but I need to get our filler baubles, maybe a few fancy baubles, maybe some lights, I'm not too sure. And then I just need some cleaning bits from B&M so I thought why not take you with me, we can do this together and then I might actually show you some of my Christmas decorations as well that I've been collecting which I cannot wait to put up. We're going to put them up next weekend which will be the 25th, I actually think is when this video will go up. So it will be an, like a whole month before Christmas which is so exciting. Um, but yeah let's, let's go get some Christmas decks, oh and I need to pop to M&S because I'm going to do cheese toasties with soup. excited to unpack them and look at them um i did a big old shop in the range the range was literally like a christmas grotto upstairs like everything was lit up and they had baubles in every single color it's like the best thing ever that's probably the most christmasy shop that i've been in so far with the most amount of christmas decorations <sighs> um but i've also got a whole collection of things that i've been collecting throughout November because this is our very first Christmas in our own house so we literally have nothing um but I don't actually know where to start because I've got so many things um I think I'll start with what I got in the range so I think the Christmas tree theme I'm going to go for is going to be gold and red that's going to be my theme this year so I picked up these tiny little red baubles as fillers they were only $1.99, so I thought that was quite reasonable. The range Christmas decorations are really, really, really well priced. And then I also picked these up from, these ones were from B&M. Just a big old box of gold ones, so I thought they would look really nice together. I didn't want to go too wild with just red. Um, let's look through the range bag that I've got. I have wanted... Oh, they're going to be wrapped up, aren't they? I also collected these really gorgeous baubles, which were like... I don't think they were that expensive. I think they were about 3 99 but I just thought they were a really nice addition. So it's going to be like those. Yeah, maybe I need more red. I don't know. Maybe I've not got enough red, but we will see um, how that goes. And then... What else have I got in here? I've got some two big red plates because we're having Christmas dinner at our house. So I've got some big red serving plates so we can pop them on the side and have all the Christmas dinner displayed on some of these. I thought that would look kind of nice. Um, what I was saying, sorry, before I started showing you baubles was I really, really wanted, you know, the really cute white china houses. I really wanted some of those. And they had a massive selection in the range of different white houses and I just love this one with the Christmas trees. So I picked that one up. Um, I think it lights up. <gasps> it does. 
Oh my gosh, I actually got batteries in it already. And then I also picked this one up. Oh, I love them so much. Um, I think, I think this one was about five pounds, this big one. It's really nice because it's got little gold rims around the um, door as well. And then I think, how much was this one? Maybe 3 99 which I think is really reasonable. That one's my favorite. I think that's so cute. But they need to stay. I'll wrap them back up in a minute because we're not gonna decorate till next weekend. I picked up this lovely gold key. I thought that was really sweet. I just like that as an accessory bauble. And every single year I absolutely love any felt sort of decoration. So I couldn't resist this one. It was only £1.49. How sweet is that? And then I also collected two of these, which I thought were quite posh. But they look really posh. And they were like £1 something. Um, is these, and they're actually made of glass, which I think is better for the Christmas tree in case any fall off. And they've got like a little gold glittery decor around the outside but I like them because they were really big so I thought they would look quite nice sat somewhere but I would definitely go to the range if you want really nice accessory baubles for quite a cheap price to be honest like if you're gonna um change theme or something that's such a good place to go because they have baubles oh gosh there's just so much so many things around me <clears throat> what did I pick up in B&M Oh, in B&M, I just picked up those gold baubles and then I also picked up some LED lights because I think any sort of little light's really Christmassy and really cosy. So we can put, pop them up and I'm hoping they'll look quite nice. They had loads of these on offer. They were all reduced. So hopefully they work and they're all okay. Well, I've just found another thing that I bought in B&M a while ago. Um, it's a little Christmas wreath. I don't actually know where this is going to go, but it's quite a delicate, dainty one. And I thought that was really, really pretty. I think it was only £6. Not sure where I'm going to put it yet. Maybe on one of the doors I'm going to hang it. But I think a wreath is really, really Christmassy. And the ones that go all the way around, they're really, really expensive. So I thought, this is perfect. If I want to add to it, I can add to it. A couple of weeks back, I went into Matalan, like right at the beginning of November, and they had so much nice Christmas stuff. And I picked up a few bits for the flat, which I really loved. Um, one of them was this cookie cutter book I thought this was really cute because it can be displayed as an accessory but if you open it ooh, let's open it up it actually has a little recipe on how to make festive cookies and it has all of the cookie cutters which I think is just so nice because you'll use them every single year and I'm desperate to make some festive cookies at some point so I just thought it was really cute I thought that would look nice displayed somewhere and obviously I can use them um, and that was only five pounds but I think Matalan's always overlooked and always has really nice decor for the seasons picked up some festive oven mitts which I thought were really sweet they're just a nice little accessory to have in the kitchen and I also picked up a festive apron because like I said we're hosting Christmas and I think it says sugar and spice on the front and it's got the little gingerbread but I thought I'm cooking and I don't want to ruin my outfit so if I have a little apron I'm going to be protected and it matches my oven mitts which I thought was really sweet everything kind of matches actually from Mathlam it's all like red and pink and I also picked up this little Christmas countdown in Mathlam a few weeks ago as well and I just thought it was absolutely adorable you just move this little um wait how many slips right now I can literally put this up ne next weekend because next weekend is a month. But you literally move the little gingerbread man down, depending on the day. It's like a little advent calendar, I guess. I just thought, I love that. I thought that was lovely. Um, obviously, Christmas stuff's timeless, isn't it? Use it year in and year out. I also picked up in Danaum another Christmas bedding. So the one we've got on right now, it is Christmassy, but you can get away with it not being Christmassy. So I wanted one that I could rotate. So I picked up this one from Danelm, which has little snowy houses on. And then, you know, the little Christmas red car with the tree on the top. It's also got that on there. But I thought it was quite neutral as well. So it looked nice in the bedroom. Okay. What else have I got? Oh, I've got a little milk and cookies sign, which I thought was sweet, which can be hung somewhere. And oh, I've also got some little i haven't actually taken this out yet 
is tinsel, just green and white tinsel, but it has little red and gold bows which you can clip on, which I thought was really cute. I'm thinking round one of the door frames I want to do like a little tinsel arch. I thought that would look really sweet. So pick them up as well. And the last little festive thing I've got. Oh no, actually, these are just my Christmas cards from Sainsbury's. I thought they were really sweet. And I was actually going to show you guys some of the bits I picked up from M&S. So every year I do my dad and my stepmom. Well, we do my dad and stepmom, but it's basically me. A hamper. And M&S has the best things for hampers every single year. I know it's expensive in there, but they really do have the best things if you're going to make a hamper. Um, so I picked up... They, they're both they both like quite savoury things so I picked up some beetroot sourdough crackers which I thought looked extremely posh and I picked up some festive chutney to go with them I do have some other crackers as well that I've got in the other room but they weren't from the nest it was festive chutney they had loads of festive chutneys and jams in there which I think are really nice gifts because people actually use them I picked them up one of these light up houses shortbread houses I think these are really nice gifts they do they do them for hot chocolate shortbread cookies tea bags I think they're just a really lovely way of displaying biscuits without it just being biscuits so I picked up one of those too and then I picked up some little bits for me and Sam tonight I picked up some this isn't really festive some chili jam because I'm gonna make um, halloumi and chili jam toasties with soup tonight, like a little cozy dinner. And I also picked up some Colin the Caterpillar faces, which I thought were sweet, which we can eat this evening. But I hope that that has inspired any of you guys, and I hope that you've liked seeing what we've got for Christmas. Um, the week after, we will obviously be decorating the tree, popping the tree up. So that's really, really exciting. So stay tuned for that and um, I'll see you guys so soon.